This is Eric from Athen and you're watching the Kerrang! podcast. Saturday at Sonosphere and I'm backstage with Eric from Wasain. How are you doing, sir? Doing pretty all right. Haven't slept much. We played Hungary yesterday, so uh, pretty much been on the road since then. You were saying you had some uh, some problems at the airport when uh, the security people looked through your stuff that you were bringing through. Yeah, it happens every now and then. Now what uh, they the security guys came running for our bass player just before we went on the plane, you know. So we ended up delaying the flight for another 30 minutes. They were looking through everything, you know, like molten bullet belts and animal parts. And it's pretty hard to convince non, non-English speaking Hungarian bodybuilding guards to... It's pretty hard to convince them that it's all right, you know, but it works. Uh, it's hard. What's the Hungarian for, do you know who I am? <laughs> I don't know, I don't think that's even invented. But you're here now. Are you looking forward to playing this evening? Oh yeah. Yeah, we are uh, actually. We, yeah, it's a pretty, it's, it's, it's been a, it's a pretty central show in the whole uh, festival season that we're doing now. So we had a lot of preparations and so on. And yeah, it's, I think it should work out. It's a very, I don't know. It has a really corporate feel to it. This this festival, you know, and it's to, we always feel a bit awkward in these kind of organized <laughs> milieus. But uh, I, it'll be it'll be good. Cool. So, uh, do you think that you know? With this corporate festival and with all these, you know, these sort of enormous multi-million selling bands and stuff, do you think that you're kind of bringing something quite nasty to it and kind of tearing a hole in it in a way? Well, there's a serpent in every Eden, you know, and uh, tonight we're that serpent, like on many other occasions. But I mean, it's like you have to, you have to uh, think uh, outside of that, you know. I mean, we're we're here, we we got our stage time, we we have our set to do you know and I try to neglect I mean I try not to think about the rest it just makes me feel awkward so you're quite glad to be the kind of the bad seed here among bands like you know Biffy Clyro and Yumi at Six and so forth yeah but we're getting used to it in a way we've done we've done a lot of those kind of festivals like grass pop and with full force and so on this this season that's been you know Sometimes you wonder what the hell they were thinking when they booked us, but in the end you realize that it actually makes sense because we, I mean, we bring that little spice, you know, <laughs> that, that devilish flavor that I think in the end everyone into rock and roll is looking for. And I can imagine as a festival visitor myself, you know, watching band after band in their jogging pants and Adidas <laughs> shirts, you know, like. Yeah, maybe it's fun for a while if, if they play some of your favorite songs, but in the end, I mean, people are here to to get the essence of rock and roll, and that's that's what we're bringing. Have you uh, have you had an occasion when you turn up to something like this and people haven't really been, but the organizers stuff haven't really been prepared for what they've let themselves in for by booking you guys? Yeah, about every time. <laughs> but um, like I said, you know, I, I just try to. We got a good crew taking care of that now, so I, I just try to ignore the whole thing because I think a lot of there's been a lot of a lot of fast decision making. You know, a lot of festival organizers they hear about, yeah, you know, Vatain, they're coming up, you know, and they're supposedly the new big thing in black metal, blah blah, and they don't really find out what it actually is that they're booking. And we are a pretty complicated band. I mean, logistically and and show wise and so on. So I don't know. I'm. I just hope that they read the rider well enough, you know, because we, we had some we had some pretty complicated situations in the over the past months. So um, you've made your own flyer for uh, for Sonosphere. Is this the the kind of the ideal Watain festival lineup? Uh, one good of, company there. One of them. No, but I th- actually we 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 done those kind of flyers for uh, most of the festivals that we've been playing this season just to. I don't know, put some emphasis on what actually matters on the festival bill according to us, you know, and I think a lot of people, a lot of our supporters and our fans, they are, they react a bit strangely when they see us on a bill together with, I don't know, Slipknot or whatever, but uh, we just want to show them that, you know, there's still stuff here to see, you know, and if you put them all together, you get a pretty nice bill, even if it's just five bands, you know, it's, I think it's a good thing. So. For the person who hasn't seen Watain before, are you hoping that you know there will be the person who comes in and you just totally blow their mind and you freak them out and they shit themselves? Yeah, 
I think it will be a new experience for a lot of a lot of people here, judging from the <laughs> look of things. But um, I don't know. You know, to me, it's like I said. I mean, we always come to do our thing. You know, and, and how people interpret that and how people react. It's really, in the end, it's up to each and everyone. You know. But of course, I mean, we realize that we are bringing something pretty radical, and. People, people are free to, to react any way they want. The good thing is that uh, it's pretty seldom that people are go away from a Batain concert just, you know, shrugging their shoulders. I mean, it's either, it's a pretty much love it or hate it thing. And that's, uh, that's a, I really like to be in that position in, in that sense that you know you will leave an impression on people. It's certainly not boring. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't <laughs> call it boring, no. Cool. Eric, thank you very much. Thank you.